Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Well, I had to back my camera out quite a bit because this one, oversized and exuberant, almost didn't fit the frame. This is the Zenith Pilot Type 20 Extra Special US Boutique Limited Edition of 50 pieces from the 2016 model year. Unveiled for the 4th of July, our Independence Day here in the United States, this handsome red, white, and blue stainless steel limited edition can be seen and purchased on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Zen pilot watch with manufacturer elite movement. The watch on my wrist could just as easily represent many nations with national colors of red, white, and blue. So if you're not necessarily a flag-waving American on the 4th of July, perhaps you hail from a different part of the world, or you simply appreciate a splash of color, non-denominational, non-nationalistic, well, certainly this watch could answer the call for you. It's an easy fit on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. I gotta be honest, I didn't expect it to fit so well. It's stainless steel, not titanium, so it has a satisfying heft to it. 45 across the round of the case, not including the crown, which by the way is 12 millimeters in diameter by itself. The watch isn't excessively thick, at least not for what it is. 14.2 millimeters with a little bit of a slope to the bezel and the sapphire. It will slide underneath a jacket cuff, but probably not a dress sleeve beneath. From lug to lug, it has almost exactly the same measurement as a traditional 44 millimeter Panerai Luminor. So 53.7 millimeters, I believe you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters in circumference. Would it appear oversized? Yes, but that's the look. It's not supposed to appear proportional. If it appears proportional on your wrist, you're Shaq, you're The Rock, you're that guy who played the mountain on Game of Thrones, you probably don't need my style advice. You're in a class by yourself. For everyone else, this is a big watch that fits small. Now in terms of what you're actually getting, the interface is a wonderfully substantial navy blue white contrasting stitch alligator leather. Though calfskin is generally standard for aviators watches, alligator is more durable and more expensive, so I'm happy to see that employed on this boutique edition. Now it has a massive sheer flank as you can see, and on the underside it uses Zenith's modern rubber inlay, so not a calfskin on the bottom, but a much softer and more supple, as well as sweat and moisture resistant rubber. To extend the life of the strap, alligator already lasts longer than calf. Add the rubber barrier between your wrist and the strap, and this could be a half decade strap. Now in terms of the clasp, well, there isn't one. There's the simple Zenith Guiding Star pin buckle, satin finished for easy on the fly adjustment. Uh, the Panerai parallels continue in the trapezoidal shape of this one. Again, there is an air de famille, almost as though they are from the same imagination. And they are from the same half of the 20th century century, at least in inspiration, because this watch features the image of the Blario monoplane on the back. Now, of course, you're looking at the 1909 English Channel surmounting Louis Blario monoplane. This is the Type 11. He had quite a few. Famed aviator, and that landmark crossing took place with a Zenith watch on his person. So immortalized forever in stainless steel on the case back. You can see the now semi-defunct terminology Montre de Ronef, rarely used by Zenith anymore to describe these watches, but historically correct to Zenith's first half 20th century aviation instruments for both cockpits and wrists. And you can see that the style of the watch is vintage inspired relentlessly vintage inspired. The watch almost has the appearance of a pocket watch converted to a wristwatch with lugs that appear almost wire-like projecting straight out of the case with no transitional blend. You'll also note, if I can eliminate the glare, that there is limited edition numbering featuring a screwed plaque with gorgeous cobalt blued screws on the case flank. The watch does have a sensational air of occasion about it, all in high polish. It pops on the wrist. It does have an American exuberance and style about it. Maybe even a little bit of arrogance, but you know what? You're supposed to wear a watch like this with a little bit of attitude. That's a good thing in this case. The dial is highly stylized. Not so much painted numerals as inserted solid blocks of Luminova. You have the same huge swaths of Luminova on the cathedral style silvered and satin finished hands at center. By the way, 
This watch came out on the 4th of July. Stay tuned for a fireworks show of a loom shot at the end of this video because I'm anticipating that this watch is going to be one of the best I have ever filmed with the lights off. Now there are a number of other vintage inspired elements from the large counterweighted seconds hand to the railroad style seconds and minutes track outboard. The font of the numerals of course vintage inspired and you can see the watch has a beautiful matte blue and it is it is a dark granular navy blue base about it very handsome what's inside the case well what's inside the case is a zenith manufacturer caliber 679 elite automatic winding 58 or 50 hour power reserve i should say it features a screw down crown and a case back sufficiently secured to give the watch 100 meter water resistance so if you put it on a more water tolerant band i think the watch would look great on a nato you'd be able to take this one into the water it's not exclusively an aviator's piece the elite is a thin fine 28800 duration per hour rate uh, modern movement designed by Zenith quite a few years younger than the El Primero of 1969. The Elite came out in 1994 and was actually the first Zenith caliber to be designed with the assistance of computer assisted modeling and design. So high tech on the inside, old tech on the outside with a little bit of American flourish and charm to it. You can see and you can purchase this limited edition of 50 pieces, the US Boutique Limited Series on our website. Zenith Pilot Type 20 Extra Special U.S. Boutique Limited Edition. Well, I told you this watch came out in time for the 4th of July 2016, and now you can see the fireworks. Put the light show on your wrist on our website.